Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a great day to discuss a really interesting topic, which is a topic that may cause a lot of stress and um, a lot of suffering through uh, families' lives. <clears throat> and it, it, to be honest, it was one of the most um, common uh, themes of uh, an energy healer when people used to come to me with their children. What are we talking about today? We're talking about children who are sensitive and who actually hear things that other people don't. Children that see things that adults and other people don't. It's actually very common, um, more common than you can imagine. And right now, this moment, it's becoming so obvious that things are happening in and around people and um, more and more people are attending to become more sensitive or more blinded. So it's like th this kind of two, two parallels here happening at the same time. People are getting more blinded by what's happening and people are becoming more highly sensitive. So let me get this right so I feel comfortable when I talk to you. Okay. All right, then let's... Have a chat about this. One of the most amazing moments um, was when <clears throat> a, a royalty from uh, another part of the world contacted me and was struggling with um, his son. Let's just say that his son struggled to get help from anywhere um, and no matter where they turned, they couldn't do anything and then they came to me and I started the, the sessions off and uh, within a short space of time that period of the suffering had disappeared had gone and um, it didn't take much really for me it was easy to see because I was sensitive myself so I understood everything that that child was feeling and what he needed and the fact that he was seeing things that other people didn't see at the end of it, I think I may have mentioned this before, um, I, I looked at my um, my PayPal uh, account at that time and it, it had got over 50,000 in. And I like, so I saw where it came and I sent it back and uh, confused as he was, um, I said two things. One, I've already been paid for my work and two, I'm beholden to no one. And... Uh, I didn't mean that in a negative way, but it's true, guys. If you accept big lumps of money off somebody, chances are they're going to hold on to that value of that forever. And uh, they're going to make you or use you in some way. Anyway, shut up, Mark. What are you talking about? Right, so what is this all about? What is sensitivity in the child? What 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 is it? And what's its effects? Well, one of the effects... Forget the, the, the physical, let's just go to the emotional. The emotional effects causes uh, sleep patterns to be all over the place. Um, nightmares, night terrors, um, which includes the physical, the sweats, the screaming, the, the palpitations, uh, all of the fear factor. Um, Heightening your energy, heightening your, um, believe it or not, there, there is something in this. So sometimes when you're sensitive and you're going through um, a stress kind of energy because of, of, of what you don't understand, I'm getting a bit deep here. I, ch I don't want to get too deep because then you'll not get it. Or maybe you will. Or maybe you will. How, how dare I say that? Sensitive people are different. Sensitive people need more love. They need more understanding. They need more cuddles. They need more... They need us... They need to... They need to know... 
that we believe in them. They need to know that we trust them. They need to know that they are great, powerful, special, amazing, gifted, rare, but, but needed in this world. They have a connection to the spirit world in a way that most of us don't see or choose not to. Most of them have a connection to spirit trapped in between, between two worlds, which most of us don't have. We've got no connection to that at all most of the times. We might, we might see reactions to spirit trapped in between two worlds. Their reaction can be physical or emotional but mainly physical, so they might smash glasses, windows, mirrors. They might mess about with things in the room, throw things around, drop things, move things, switch taps on, all, all these kind of crazy things. But to somebody who's a, a sensitive, like a child, who has not been programmed to, to not believe in these things, who are open to um, things because they've not been pushed or and, and and by the way if you've got a sensitive child i just want to say thank you because you're obviously nurturing them in a way that is very very beautiful and and i want to say thank you to you because whatever you're doing it's the right thing now you you'll probably think that you're doing something wrong that you, you'll think the opposite You'll think, what am I doing? I, you know, everybody else's child is okay. My, mine's not. Actually, your child is okay. Everybody else's child is not. <laughs> it's the other way around. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with your child not seeing anything. I'm just saying you've got to get it into perspective when you step out of this absolute clown house of of idi idiocy of, of, of stupidity of, of, of shallow brain dead moronic people telling you how to feel think and and to program you when you step out of that and you see a child who is free still from that programming that they are extremely powerful gifted and in tune and sometimes so many miracles happen in that point and it actually molds the child as they get older to be something extremely powerful. Um, it doesn't take long when you see gifted um, adults who have made an impact in this world. Just look at their past, look at what they went through as, as a child. You'll find similarities in the way of sensitivity, seeing things, seeing differently, being different from other children. And there's a reason for that. Like I said, your child is special. So, so what, Mark? Okay, so my child's special. So what? How do I help my child? Okay. Uh, well, sometimes it's nice to get to have the feedback of, of, of what I've learned as a healer. And I've worked with thousands of children. So I know predominantly how to handle children. And most people handle them as if there's something wrong with them. By doing that, you emphasize an energy to them that they then confirm in their self that what their gift is, is something wrong with them. So that's the first thing. Most of the time, it's, um, it's important that a parent whose child is special, that they have to make sure that they emphasize in both mind, body and spirit that they are special and they're gifted and you've got to believe that in your heart. No point saying it and you don't mean it. So you've got to understand, I'm like I am trying to talk to parents first, which I did do when you came to me. I, I'd always heal the parent first and then the child would feel better. Why is that? Because the parent has an influence on the child. So uh, on one hand, you, you just, you'll you say, oh, Mark, you just said that I'm, I'm a good parent. You are a good parent. But now you need to be you need to step up and you need to be even more um, of a more powerful parent and more deeper. So you're going deeper now. You're deeper diving into uh, being a better parent. Okay, so what do I do, Mark? Well, first of all, you tell your child every day they're amazing. You hug them, which you probably do anyway. Tell them that their gift is incredible um, uh, and, and make them feel, make them feel that their gift is something that they can nurture and grow with and become confident with. Okay, 
So it's a flick of a switch, really. <gasps> oh, I can see spirit. And what's wrong with that? I mean, let me tell you something, guys. Okay, you're all sat there, you're all listening. You're all worried about your child seeing spirit. Let me tell you. I've been doing this field of work and I've been in the most scariest places, catacombs, churches, haunted this, haunted that. I've never seen a ghost hurt anybody, physically or emotionally. Now, I have been outside in that big wide world where there's bullies and brutes and statistics, psychopaths, narcissists, and I am more frightened of my child being outside in that big open world than this beautiful world of spirituality and, and knowing that we have another world within a world and our home world. And you know what? They're connected to it. So, no need to fear. Why does your child get frightened and upset? Because we keep confirming to them that there's something wrong with them. So we have to help them see that what they are and who they are is a gift and amazing and powerful. And you've got to work at that like a muscle. You've got to keep saying, wow, what else did you see? Show me. Oh, thank you. Give me a hug. And what else did you feel? Oh, wow, this is so interesting. Oh, I, you know, you're so clever. You're so amazing. And they are. That isn't a lie. That isn't a manipulation. I genuinely learned more about the spirit world, spirit trapped in between two worlds, with kids who could see more than I did. I want to spend time with them. Share, what else do you see? Well, I see a woman next to you. And what does she look like? She's got blonde hair or white hair. Oh, and what, 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 what? Tell me any, about anything else. Can you see? Yeah, she's seeing it. Uh, okay, I know who you're talking about now. Thank you. It, it's so great that you've got this gift. And oh, thank you. So, and then the kid goes away and feels like he's just achieved something. And all of a sudden now you've changed the child into really realizing that their gift is amazing. Well, no religion would ever do that because religion made sure that it stopped um, the gift of a child seeing to making them feel as if they were sinners. So they got rid of that energy. So the only person who can see and have a connect line to the spirit world is the Pope. You see what I mean? So, so it's all about suppressing your child. And we, without realizing, do the same. So we, um, we disregard it. We don't talk about it. We just say, oh, don't worry. And we get worried about it and fear it. And we don't know what to do because nobody's going to help you unless you meet a healer <laughs> who gets pretty excited. <gasps> a pure gift of feeling, seeing, connection. It's what we have to work for as older people who've been beaten and told that we haven't got a gift and we can't connect and you are a sinner and if you don't, uh, you know, whatever, forget it. You're an idiot, you're this, you're that, Mark. Okay, so now I have to get rid of that. Well, your child doesn't need to. Your child's perfect, wonderful, amazing, gifted, everything. So don't let idiots influence your child. Let them be influenced by the guides and the healers of the world they will nurture that gift. And then that gift becomes something really special. And then they feel good. Then they feel happy with it. And then they feel like they can use it and help their friends and people and stuff. And you just need to explain to them that most of the world is blind. They, they don't mean to be, but they can't see. So it's a challenge for them. So then what you do is you help your child by saying, you know, you don't have to tell people that there's a spirit next to them. But if you feel that there's a message there and that might help them, how can you help them without scaring them, without making them feel like you're silly or stupid? So use that beautiful connection in a way that helps people without you having to say, Oh, by the way, there's a, a man next to you in the spirit world. Or there's a child next to you in the spirit world and they're trying to communicate. Doesn't work. Forget it. Only a very few people 
would want to hear that and those are the ones that come to you as a healer a psychic a medium uh claire audience claire clairvoyant whatever but only a few people want to see that and actually really truly believe that because most people are blinded by their own um doing so that's okay that's okay so again nurture your child find healers who can spend time with your child I'm not telling you to take your child to a, a spiritualist church i'm just saying that if you nurture your child in a loving way and let your child see that you see it as a gift and it's something beautiful and powerful you'll find that your child won't start feeling bad if you explain to your child this is the process that i went through helping children get through that painful situation of fear because of out there tells them it's all wrong and me now telling them it's all right and i know right now 25 28 um in their 20s now um children who came to me as little kids and now uh, with that gift using it and most of them are, are really very powerful and what they're doing in their life is incredible so they use their gift of seeing in a way that doesn't interfere with the outside world and so that the outside world don't think they're crazy and you don't have to tell people these things you just use them in a in a an amazing way to create whatever you create did i ever tell you that most of the people that i met who were let's say very famous who did lots of 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 work around the world who became really very popular they never ever talked about their true gift but to the front when they work with corporations and big companies <clears throat> you would perceive them as somebody who is a, a very clever man but actually when you sit with them you start to find out that they're really um clairaudient clairvoyant uh they're they're mediums they they're they're, they're 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 in tune with spirit and it's true but they would never tell that world out there that so they wear suits and they they talk to you know corporations and give them information and people think wow this information is amazing it's brilliant it's working and where do you get it from? i got one guy right i i got so many stories about kids that grew up and they tell me this because they know because it's my work so they know hey mark you know what i know right and i say yeah i know i can feel who you are you're not really the guy in the suit who's gone to harvard and studied and now come up you actually you actually tune into your psychic and your gift of spiritual awareness right yeah but don't tell anybody it's true <laughs> it's true so your kids are going to grow up one day to be uh, probably extremely um, uh, successful in life because of this gift. So <laughs> if this doesn't help you in any way, make make you change the way you are for your for your child to to nurture their gift. Then I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to tell you something now. Right, <laughs> this used to make me chuckle. There is one guy, right? Oh, should I say it? I have to be careful. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to get anybody into trouble. All I can tell you is that I have clients over the years that the world believes that they are super uh, brainy and intelligent and people come to them from... And, and, and pour money at them, right? <laughs> and and say, tell me what to do at a certain time to do it. And uh, their, their, their charts of getting it right is 98% accurate. <laughs> and I know when I'm giving them readers and healings that it's because they're being intuitive and it's all intuitive, but they could never tell that on a big website, which is a huge corporation that's making millions. <laughs> the guy's a psychic and you don't even know. You think he's just out there on a computer with graphs, you idiot. <laughs> so I got some funny stories because I can tell you this, that most people don't say what I say 
Most people who are successful will never say that it's their intuitive energy. It's their gut. They will never tell you that because the world does not want to hear that. The world wants to hear it's, I went to Harvard. I studied. I've got three degrees. Well, I've got three degrees on LP, on vinyl. <laughs> anyway, your child diverting Mr. Bierski. This lady and gentleman sat here wanting to hear about the child and you're talking about something else. Just get back to what you're meant to be talking about. Sorry. <laughs> Certain things you can do to help your child um, as well is crystals. Crystals admit a great energy. Um, blue calcite is a great crystal at the moment for kids. It brings, um, and, and let them hold it often, okay? There's also um, three beautiful oils that work really well for kids. And that is um, frankincense, uh, Palo Santo, and sage, if you mix them three together, rub them on your child, forehead, uh, back of the neck, heart, always good to rub on the heart, and their stomach. That, uh, and sometimes the back as well, if they're going through like a, a, a um, fearful, fearful, rub on their back, lower back. Now, I, I have this oil and it's called sacred oil. But sorry, I got hiccups. You can go out and get it from any uh, natural uh, oil store, okay? Frankincense, sage, and Palo Santo. Them three together, mix them, and you'll find that your child will feel better. Three times a day for one month, and you'll see that your child will get stronger and stronger, and you won't need to use that oil as often at all. Three times a day, if possible, twice a day, once in the morning waking up, middle of the day, and definitely at night. Okay, so certain things you can use in the room. Um, uh, dream catchers as well, they work really well. I have mine with crystals on, which I've worked with, they're great. Um, I think I've nearly run out of most of them anyway. Um, what else? <sighs> Cleansing the room is vital. The bedroom, vital, but the house, vital. Cleansing your child with sage smoke, vital through this period of um, sensitivity. All that does is clear away fear. The sensitivity is fear, basically. You see, if your child realizes that what their gift is, is a gift, they're no longer sensitive, but they become warriors and strong. The only reason why they're sensitive is because they fear what they're feeling because we are not giving them the information or that right energy to say, oh, you're amazing, you're powerful. You can change it like that. I changed kids' lives in a matter of two months, three months, then they're strong, powerful, and then I smile and give them a wink and they wink back and they've got the gift and uh, now they they admire the gift, they, they honor it, they love it, and they realize it's a, it's a gift. It, the gift is a gift. <laughs> it's a gift, gift, gift. <laughs> it's brilliant. I want it. Give it me. Uh, tell me how to do it. <laughs> what have I forgot? What have I forgot? I have to work so hard to connect to spirit. So hard. These kids have just got it like that. There are so many ways you can help your child, but I would say the best way to help them is become um, aware and enjoy the journey with them. They're a gift to you and you're a gift to them. So never doubt, never fear and sit down and whenever your child is feeling um, sensitive, give them courage by a cuddle and say, you're amazing, you're gifted. What you see is beautiful. Uh, if there is uh, times where they feel a little bit kind of like uh, not knowing what to do, talk to them, see what they say. And then find a healer and listen to healers because they have great advice because you can't just say to your child, this is the answer because anything can happen through the day and the night. Because as a child, when you are open to this energy, you become like an antenna. And a lot of the time, spirit, um, for some reason, trapped in between two worlds can come into your, your home. It happens. It happens often. They can follow you. They can follow you. 
and sometimes spirit from the spirit world can be around and because we don't know what it is we fear it everything that we don't know we fear instantly but actually there's nothing to fear at all nothing um so by cleansing your room with sage i've got plenty of videos watch them by saging the room that your child's in cleanses the energy and it lifts that energy up to only allow spirit with a high energy and, and loving and, and healing to come through. If you cleanse the room, it clears any low vibration, any spirit trapped in between two worlds and any negative energy that may be in this universe. So saging is a great thing to do. You might ask me how many times. Depends how your, your child's feeling because you might think, oh, my child's fine, so I don't really need to sage. Exactly. Oh, my child's not feeling too good today. I think I'm gonna sage. And at the same time, I'm gonna sage my child. Yes, 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 sage your child. It's amazing because it strengthens them in so many ways. It's incredible. Um, the other thing we could talk, I could talk like this all day. I wrote maybe 300 pages already on um, this subject. I wanted to write a book about it, but I'm not there yet because things are so many things are happening. But <clears throat> there's certain things you can do to strengthen your child and their seeing abilities and their gift by doing like uh, little questionnaires, um, uh, games, um, tests, and um, letting them expand their gift. So you can ask them questions, you can, you know, or you can just sit and have a, a loving conversation and be very interested. But you can also say, you know, encouragement is the number one thing here. And if my child uh, was uh, seeing things like now, if I had a child and they were seeing things, wow, would I be encouraged in them? Would I be like saying, oh, this is great. Can I, can, you know, and all of a sudden you're allowing your child to express themselves. And if, and, and the only reason why your child normally feels bad is because they struggle to express themselves. They struggle what to do with this gift. They struggle how to, so then they go introvert, they go inwards and they get sad and upset. They get into their own world. They feel sad, they feel lonely, they feel, you know, like there's something wrong with them. So you've got to break that mold. You've got to break that pattern. You've got to, you know, celebrate the gift of his child of seeing and feeling. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. I think that, I mean, this is a good opener for you to now start to uh, look towards uh, what to do. St you know, start thinking for yourself. Start feeling for yourself. You know what? I might go out to a, a crystal shop with my child and let them walk around and then talk to the owner of the crystal shop saying my child started to see see things and feel things and the owner might say oh wow that's amazing and then the child over here is thinking wow somebody's saying this is a gift and you're confirming it all the time with them oh, good idea mark great idea thanks for that. anything else yeah maybe you might go to a bookstore and look for a book with your child and say um i see ghosts i see um you know i have a gift and let them read that book or read it to them, right? So you're confirming that there are people just like your child out there. If your child's watching this now and you're watching me now, I don't know what your name is because I'm not that good a psychic. <laughs> but let me tell you something. You are the most special child in our world and you are gonna change this world and you are here for a reason. You are beautiful, you are powerful, you are a gift. You're like Superman. You're like Wonder Woman. You're like all of those Marvel, amazing uh, uh, superheroes. You're more powerful than them. You're more powerful than them. You're more gifted. You see so clearly when you start to look inside and feel and ask the right questions inside you. Not here but inside here, inside here talks to you all day. Start to listen to it. Don't listen to this too much. Listen to this. When you listen to this is when you cross the road and you look left and right. That's it. When you read a book, listen to this. But when you really want to ask yourself what's going on, what's happening, close your eyes and listen to what it says inside here. Because where your heart is, there's a voice. And if you listen hard enough, you'll hear that voice. And that voice will help you from today with all what you see around you 
and all that you feel that nobody else can. And I'm jealous and I want what you've got. <laughs> so does everybody else. <laughs> but they won't admit it. So you are a gift in this world. You're amazing. You're powerful. And share with us. Tell us. Tell your mum. Tell your dad what you see. And then they'll tell me. And then I'll, I'll tell everybody else. And start to draw what you see. Start to write down what you see. What nobody else sees. And write a little book. Do that for me. And send the book to me. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful gifted children. Your sensitivity is a gift. And I am so jealous. I want to be sensitive like you. Have a great day everybody. Thank you mums and dads. Take care of your gorgeous children. They need you and they were born into your world for a reason. As your mum and dad was born, uh, was here for you, you were born into them. I can't even speak today. You chose to be with your mum and dad and your mum and dad chose to be with you. So you both have to work out and figure out why you're together and how you can help each other. I think that's it. <laughs> I think I'm done. But... You know what I mean. Have a great day. Love you all. Shine bright till tomorrow. Bye for now.